Hello. All right, this video will be based on hydraulics, electrolysis, organic chemistry, and how this thing was come from clothes. Now, I'll talk to do a practical application to show y'all fully, but I do not have a 12 volt DC battery. I can probably get most of my batteries and put in a series, or I can probably make a. I can probably make a temporary battery out of water and salt or out of freaking um getting multiple pennies or getting aluminum using a light to hit it or whatever. But right now I'm just doing a, uh an example for my Allison so I can make pills out of it for myself. Now um Let's work for it. Don't forget that allicin has a very unstable lifespan. 25 calcis or 75 Fahrenheit. Which means that if I do anything that boil it or get to that temperature, the allicin would break down and become... It would no longer be organic sulfur, it would be a hydrogen sulfur group, which lose some of its effect, most of the effect anyway. So the best thing to do in such a scenario is to figure out what you want, what the ingredient you want before you make it ahead of time. Electrolysis is applying electricity to a solution. Hydrolysis is similar, but it's just not electricity. I'm in it. Yeah, I'm in the group. I'm in the group. Yep. I'm pressing that in his mic, sir. Are you in the group, Rain? I uh how many all right good. So the main objective here now is to how to apply the alcohol use of this situation. You know this organic stuff, but meaning it's oh did I hit a guard? I did hit a guard. Dang. Anyway. Anyway. So, for organic chemistry wise, ionic bindings and carbon bindings. Now, you all know that most organic are carbon bindings and most non carbon based are ionic bindings. The moment I do this, the allicin is somewhat activated. Now it's been oxidized. The oxidation, in other words, it having an oxygen molecule added to it. In organic chemistry rise, it is the burn that liquid film you float it. That's the burn that's getting ready to break due to the heat of my arm. It's still COVID burning, but it won't be ionic burning time basic with iodine or any electronegative sensitive stuff that like to take electrons out of stuff. So what I'm gonna do out of it is drop this in. I'll see it are in onions, but they mostly in the other group of cloves, aka the garlic. In other words, bam. So. I'm going to put salt in here. Onions are organic sulfur. Sulfur is not electropicketous or it does not have a high violence octane. It is a anion, meaning it is a negative charge ions or negative charge atoms in it. Meaning it would not take electrons from the salt, which is sodium chloride, which all know sodium chloride. It is what? I'm going to know sodium chloride is electroplated the chloride is not the sodium now what I'm planning on doing now is pouring the water in it I just put salt in it to help the I put salt in to help the electricity flow through it 
aka electrolytes in the water, which will break the bones up, which can aka become ionic bonding. The and hydrolysis is similar to electrolysis if I have the intention of adding a hydrogen to the molecules of onion by removing the oxygen out. HHO, which is a form of car battery or car battery fuel, it is similar to what the process I just did. It's bunch of electrolytes with positive place and negative place inside a tube and you apply the battery or the electricity to the HAO and it will act as as a fuel or car battery. Now that's hydrolysis. Electrolysis is just applying electricity to the water to split the molecules using the water as a base solution to help the electricity. But that can, based on the molecules or the elements of what you're using, it can end up being hydrolysis, electrolysis, potomalis. Yes, I am. I am doing a late one. Uh, so. So certain molecules have that base on it. Now, to get the allicin out of this, the water is breaking down, but I want to stable the uh, allicin itself. I apply salt to it as well with the electrolytes, but also speed up the get degradation of the allicin and will break it down even more so. You know what that means, right? It means that I have a certain amount of tyrophane before the allicin is no longer have the potency deprived prior from. So, what I'm going to do is Get a battery, apply electrolysis to it. Now, that separates the hydrogen and oxygen molecules from it and only leave what's left of it. Normally, I would dehydrate it down and drink, get the allicin itself, which also break it down, but I want to preserve the allicin, so usually I just add a red gum to it. In other words, I still gotta wait.